Hello there guys, Coaster Channel here, Doncasterborn, but built for theme parks. So welcome to a theme park uh, review, a Coaster Channel review uh, from Alton Towers Resorts. Brand new ride for this year, Gangster Granny the Ride. I said to you I'd bring you a review of it and we're going to share my thoughts on the ride experience. I'm not going to go through the whole, you know, POV of the ride and stuff like that in detail because obviously you can check out POVs for yourself, you can visit the ride yourself. Uh, we're just going to pick out my highlights, sort of things that I think the ride could work on and uh, things that I think could do to improve it as well as my overall rating. I don't usually give overall ratings anymore but uh, I think for a new ride it's fair to give it a new rating. So before we get started guys please like the video if you've loved it, comment down below your thoughts and opinions, subscribe if you're new around here, click the notification bell so you never miss a YouTube video. Also guys check the description down below for social media links and also the Google Forms link where you can submit your own ideas for the channel. And for now, guys, let's have a look at exactly what's been going on with Gangster Granny the Ride. So, of course, we need a bit of information uh, just to recap you on this brand new ride. So, uh, this is a Spin Master 4D Dart ride manufactured by Garmendale Engineering. Uh, opened back on the 17th of May 2021. Of course, delayed from 2020 due to the COVID-19 pandemic. Um, as a minimum rider height of 0 0.9, an unaccompanied height of 1.2 meters, with right for Photography, no fast track, uh, four cars and eight passengers per car. Of course, this is sitting in the former Wobble World building, uh, which operated as Wobble World between 2009 and 2015. And of course, it used to operate as the Family Scare Maze House of Monsters for a good couple of years as well. A good two, three years as House of Monsters uh, before it didn't come back for 2019 Scare Fest as it was being transformed into Gangster Grand of the Ride from the inside. Uh, so, very interesting stats and facts there. Now I'm going to share my thoughts on the ride. So first of all, the queue line experience. And I've told, told some footage of that for the vlog. Uh, so the queue line experience is great. I think there's some picture frames on there which look wonderful. I think the, um, you know, the different Easter eggs and puns in there were really good. Uh, you know, uh, Miss Davino, Wally Bums. I think that's that was a quite that was quite a comedic uh, effect there in the queue line. And I like how the queue line. You got this massive outdoor queue line where you've got the the purpley velvety robe, a uh, rope, and then you sort of you know walk into the building. You come across these picture frames with the soundtrack on. You got the screen um, or the, the sort of reflection screen in front of one half of the queue line so you sort of you know on the other side so it's very COVID protective there I'm pretty sure that's part of the queue line I'm not too sure if it's a COVID measure just or not so when the COVID restrictions eventually go down I'm not too sure if you know the screen that the, the, the refle reflective screen gets taken down and it's just you can see over the top of the queue line without any um, you know people you know blocked off by a screen on the other side uh, then you walk through down the hallway then you sort of walk down and up these steps uh, where you come to the loading platform now of course there is a very short loading platform obviously um, you know there's there's uh, obviously one car in the station at a time so when that one car gets set off uh, the curtains close as they go through the first scene uh, so you don't see the first scene from a good angle and you uh, you just get closed off from that and you have the new car ready in the station waiting so it's a very good throughput uh, obviously when Covid's over they are going to fill up both rows so you will get multiple parts in the same car but for now at least it is you know one car per, well one bubble per car one social bubble uh, per car uh, so you'll only be going through one row if it's just a number of people so uh, you know I think that that's probably important to, to recognise that, that it will be filling up more and more and more efficiently as COVID goes away, or, or at least calms down. Uh, so, of course, we can't, like I said, I, was gonna talk, I wasn't going to talk about every single scene from front to back, from start to finish. Just talk about my highlights of the overall experience, really. And I've got to say straight off the bat, it was a pretty decent new ride. Now, obviously, I'm not going to speak too much about the breakdown halfway through, because, you know, I think a new ride, you know, Air had teething problems on its first day. Um, you know, I think Smiler had teething problems on his first day and, you know, that's why he kept getting delayed before opening as well. So, we can't really delay 
in his first year, we can't really blame a ride for teething problems. It is a brand new ride. It is a brand new system. It's going to have teething problems. So we'll probably judge it in a year or two if it still has those same problems. Kind of like Darren Brown's ghost train in a way. We sort of, it was a terrible first year in terms of reliability. Um, you know, they fixed all the problems, brought something new to it the following year, and it's still kept getting unreliable over the next couple of years. So, I mean, you know, we can't really judge teething problems in its first year. You know year if it has it in a couple of years time again then you know then we can start to look at it but uh, i'm not going to really focus on that much because i think that's just what every new ride goes through at some point during its first year uh teething problems uh, and a few technical malfunctions especially a dark ride of this nature um but what i will say is i think it's a pretty decent ride experience now to tell you about the effects that were missing first of all i think there's a couple of moments where you could see some water or bubbles uh there was one particular moment where you're swimming past the hms belfast well ben and Gran uh, granny are swimming past hms belfast and i can't help but feel like there was a moment there where there could have been uh, a bubble effect and then uh, there was a moment before around when they're splashing into the thames uh, and you get this, I'm, I'm feeling it should have been a water splash element, like a water squirt element, um, along with the screen lifting up, so uh, again, I think that was probably a water moment there. Uh, I think when you're going down the, the zip line, down to the sewer line, you crash down the bottom and have the splash, I think again, that could have been a water squirt moment. I don't know if it's because of COVID or just effects being broken. Again, I'm not going to judge it too much if it is effects going off in its first year. Uh, but I think there's a couple of moments of water slash bubbles effects where they could have been. Apart from that, rest of the effects were fine. Uh, I think the projections on the wall were amazing. I think they were right moment, right time. Uh, the use of screens and animatronics uh, in, the play, in a couple of places were uh, a good blend. I think there's a lot of screens compared to animatronics, but I think there was still a blend of animatronics. I mean, like, for example, when uh, Ben and Granny are trying to escape the police on the scooter, you have the, the police cars on the screen, and you have the animatronic of the scooter next to the police cars on the screen in front of it, behind it. So, uh, you know, there's still a good blend of animatronic uh, and uh, motionless figures, as well as projections and screens. Um, I think there's a good use of lighting as well. I think the lighting in the ride was pretty, pretty good. Um, you know, especially the vault scene when you're blowing up the vault, you get that puff of smoke as well. I think that the, the lighting for the green and the red of the vault and the, the sirens going off in the exit queue line, as well as the uh, when, you, when, when the guards catch the, the thieves, uh, when you knock the replacement on the floor and it trips the alarm. So I think, again, the, the lighting in that ride was really good. Uh, and I think overall it was a pretty decent ride experience. For, for a first ride, it was brilliant. Um, so... There we go, guys. Thank you very, very much for watching this Coast Channel review. I'm going to give this ride 7 out of 10. I'd say it's pretty decent, and I'd recommend you go and try it out. Thank you very much, guys. My name is Coast Channel, killing the coast of life. I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care, guys. Have a gangster-tastic day. What? What?